Uh, again, hopefully wala nang issue guys I-delete ko na yung video siguro pag uwi ko Or by the time this video is uploaded Para wala na wala na pag-uusap-usapan ng mga tao And it was never really my intention Na magkaroon ng commotion or brand war or something like that uh, I just wanna raise awareness for uh, the motor vloggers or influencers out there Because again, we do, you do play a big impact with the market the consumers uh, so yun lang okay. uh, I respect everybody and then yun lang wala wala na hopefully ay, na yung, klaro na sa inyong lahat it was again never my intention to bring a commotion about brands <coughs> it was uh, just my peace of mind about the review and lahat naman talaga tayo may kanya kanyang uh discarte sa pagre-review but I just want to point out that it has to be an honest review uy grabe si kuya bay a few moments ago oh no mukhang mababasa tayo guys <laughs> oh no so guys this is at uh, unahan ng checkpoint sa may turil I don't know what happened pero Medyo malakas ang tubig And today is Sunday by the way It's uh, February 27 And yun, ito Parang may pumutok or sumabog na water pipe So a lot of cars are enjoying it guys <laughs> Libre car wise But for us Oh no uh, Iwas tayo go <laughs> Oh shit man <laughs> Hindi pa nga umuulan, basa na kami, oh my gulay Alright guys, so as I've said, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon And we're going to Digos in Kapatagan uh, And we're very excited about it guys Kasi it's been a long time na uh, nakalaag mo yun Nakagala kami ni Biyaheng RM on a weekend because of our schedule And uh, quick story, so I woke up this morning and there was a lot of uh, commotion on the post that I did about the honest review So uh, I just want to talk a few things about it and, But first of all, disclaimer guys um, Kasi meron tayo ng mga viewers na wala nang, walang ginawa ko de uh, Bantayan na pagkakamali ng tao So a quick disclaimer guys uh, If there's someone who will nitpick uh, the language that I'm using right now uh, because I'm speaking English and Tagalog to be honest with you guys isa akong Bisaya, I'm a proud Bisaya and there's a few words or sentences that I can express better using English uh, kaysa mag Tagalog ako kasi minsan nagkakarambola yung Tagalog at saka Bisaya kasi hindi naman talaga ganun ka nagkakalayo yung dalawa so uh, I use English and of course I still want to make my English better. I'm not really good at it. My grammar is not perfect, but I'm trying to improve my English. So that aside, a quick story as well, or again, uh, regarding why I made that post. So one morning I woke up. Uh, then, then that's the first video I saw on on Facebook. So honestly, guys, hindi ko siyang ilala. Uh, <laughs> To be honest, there's a, only uh, a few moto vloggers that I know that, uh, of course, makes quality content. Um, one is Naj Abdul. Uh, I mean, sorry, number one is Makina. Makina Moto News. Uh, no bias there, but uh, Makina, I always watch his vlogs. Uh, and then Naj Abdul, uh, read, read for speed. And then one of the locals here, uh, Born to Ride Philippines. So. And then of course, there's a few uh, moto vloggers or vloggers I knew here in Mindanao uh, And I support them all, of course uh, Kasi sino ba naman ako guys? I'm just a small time content creator So there, uh, konti na talaga yung kilala ko uh, Sa Manila na side ng mga vloggers So I don't really know him So, going back, so I saw this video And then I actually finished the video guys So there, um Nakita ko yung, yung demonstration nila gano ba katiba yung gili helmet And to be honest with you, I'm not against gili helmet Okay, so I, so I, 
was saying I'm not against Gile helmet. Uh, I just wanna make that clear. And to be honest with you guys, uh, Gile helmet is a helmet that I can only afford at its price point. Um, and honestly, guys, I'm just a regular rider with a regular income, and I'm not one of those people na high ang status sa life. So I just wanna lay it out there. Um, again, I've been riding uh, for, for quite a few, few years, and I've put on a lot of miles or kilometers on my bike. Uh, but never have I ever owned an HJC helmet. So I only own two helmets for the past few years. The first one is the one I bought, which is the Spider. I forgot the model of the Spider. And then the Spider's price point is about 3K. And it actually, it really did serve its purpose. I had an accident and it saved my life. So there we go. Um, I won't give you the backstory of it because it's not a video. But again, but then again, it served its purpose for its price point. And the second helmet that I have, guys, is this one that I'm using right now. It's the uh, Challenger LS2. So for this one, guys, it's a bit pricey. And to honest to be told, I'm not the one who bought it. Uh, it was given to me by my generous girlfriend, RM, or behind RM, uh, way back last year. And it was a Christmas gift. So by that time, guys, um, honestly, or truth to be told, I can't afford it at that time. Okay, so I can't afford it, guys. Uh, it's it's around seven, eight. So there. Um, na naawa talaga siya sa akin kasi yung spider helmet ko. Uh, madami na pinagdaan <laughs> through its course. <laughs> So, two years ko yung ginamit, nakikita niya araw-araw. So, naawa siya, binigyan niya ako ng bagong helmet. Pinangarap ko lang to guys, honestly. So, there. Um, to be honest, I can't really afford an, L, uh, an HJC helmet. Kahit yung C70, I think that's around 6.5 or something. Basta mata, medyo, hindi naman kamahalan. Pero, mahal siya para sa akin. So, there. Um, the point is, I made that post not to induce war on brands okay guys uh, ang pinapoint out ko lang dun guys is for influencers for vloggers that has a lot of followers and all they all I'm saying is that you have to be very careful when you do reviews kasi kasi guys if you can imagine if you do have thousands and thousands of followers and some of those followers are looking for a budget friendly helmet and then you you lay down a helmet um you know you show the product and then compare it with high-end brands na of course it it serves another purpose like mamahaling brand yun and then you compare it diba so I, i'm not saying again that it's wrong but i'm saying is yung pagkakagawa niya ng video guys at the end of the video or at the middle yung yung nawarak yung nawarak na helmet is pinalitan niya, hindi niya naman in-explain, di ba? If, if napanood niyo talaga yung original video, hindi niya in-explain, guys, na pinalitan niya yung helmet uh, for a second testing, kasi nga, nawarak na, di ba? So, what he's saying uh, on on the video he made for his explanation is that, pinalitan niya kasi, warak na nga, di ba? Kasi hindi niya na magagawa yung, yung second testing. And I'm okay with that. At least, pinaliwanag niya. So, short story, as well, um, when I saw that video, it was posted 14 hours ago. Okay, so nag-comment ako doon. Of course, as expected, the comment will be ignored, right? So, bumangon ako. I made a video uh, just to make an just to make an awareness, di ba? Uh, and and so mga viewers jan sa mga bashers, if you think a hundred percent without me posting that video would he correct it that's a question that i'll leave for you guys kasi siya lang naman yung nakakaalam talaga nun. and of course his followers know him better than i do kasi again hindi ko siya kilala diba and again guys uh to point it out if you read my caption um 
I'm only pointing it out to the influencers and moto vloggers or vloggers out there that's promoting products. Kasi, kasi nga, uh, it's they have a big impact on the consumers and the in the market. Kasi they bring a lot of people to purchase a specific product on the market, di ba? So yun lang naman, I'm not nitpicking his what he did, but that's the video I saw and it would make sense if I make the video because I saw something wrong. Kasi I, I myself as a, as a consumer and I find it misleading. So in this world guys, or in this country, democratic country tayo, we do have our freedom of speech. Uh, itanong ko na lang, how would I show you guys what he did with the review if I'm not gonna show it to you guys? Diba? Uh, ano, anong gusto nyo gawin ko? Magde-demo ako, mag-costume ako, uh, I'll pretend to be him and then do exactly what he did just to show it to you guys. Diba? Para akong tanga nun. And then I don't have any proof na ginawa niya nga and some of you are saying dapat kinredit ko siya guys even though I don't know the guy uh, hindi ko alam na si Katya I respect his name so the only reason guys na hindi ko siya tinag hindi ko siya minention is because I'm not pointing at him I'm pointing about the review that was made so okay, the honest review uh, tsaka lang ako nagre-record pa tayo so, so going back uh, again guys, I'm not pointing at him I'm pointing about the review And to be honest My only goal is to uh, Spread an awareness To the vloggers, influencers out there That if you introduce a product to the market Be honest For the honest review Okay Yun lang naman uh, Again guys, it's not about branding It's not about the brand Ah, uh, tama nga naman siya, di ba? Uh, lahat ng tao may iba-ibang estado sa buhay. And I'm one of those people, guys, na I can't afford uh, the HGC helmet, at least now. But I'm working on it, di ba? Uh, that's the reason why we, may mga pangarap tayo. Pangarap natin makabili ng mga expensive na bagay for its features and safety, di ba? So, yun. But, you know, I'm a small-time... <laughs> Hindi ko naman talaga na-expect na magti-trending yun guys It's just You know, uh, it's my thought Gusto ko lang i-share, di ba? Uh, kasi ako, hindi naman ako influencer I'm trying to be uh, And if you look at my page I, I'm also kind of a positive guy I only post positive things on my page uh, Gala dito, gala doon Showing the beauty of Mindanao For those skeptic people uh, Na Delikado sa Mindanao or pangit sa Mindanao. But take a look at my videos guys and you will realize something and you will see the beauty of it. All I want to do is spread awareness for the vloggers and you know, influencers out there. So, yun lang. Hopefully this clears clear things out and ride safe.